Welcome to Granny's Book Nook. Today's story is D is for Drinking Gourd, an African American alphabet, written by Nancy I. Sanders and illustrated by E. B. Lewis. Let our people go, they cried, in speeches or with pen in hand. A is for abolitionists who are willing to take a stand. B is for buffalo soldiers riding across the plains. Bold and brave, they protected the West, the settlers, the forts, and the trains. Sweat-stained hats and spurs that jingled, rodeos with daredevil clowns. C is for the cowboys and cattle drives to railroad towns. D is for drinking gourd and the North Star that led through the night from station to station on the Underground Railroad, escaping on a dangerous flight. E is for emancipation, a big word that means to be free. When people heard the proclamation, it was a day of jubilee. F is for our founding fathers in the days of the Constitution. They helped win the war from British rule and the American Revolution. Thousands moved from the South to the North. That's why G is for Great Migration. Families went to the cities looking for jobs and a better education. Poetry, paintings, photography, the stage, hit songs at the top of the chart. H is for Harlem Renaissance, a great birth of culture and art. I is for inventions, new gadgets for people to use. Inventors have ideas for all sorts of items, from hair products to machines that make shoes. Trumpets playing to a syncopated beat, crowds forming just to hear. J is for jazz and jazz musician. There's a new song in the air. Lighting candles, telling stories, reciting an inspirational quote. K is for Kwanzaa, a celebration of unity and hope. L is for Little Rock Nine, the students who integrated school. At Little Rock, Arkansas's Central High, protected under military rule. M is for March on Washington, a civil rights demonstration where thousands of people gathered to support equal rights throughout the nation. N is for NAACP and the legal help it provides. This important organization has saved countless numbers of lives. Outstanding athletes each do their best, inspiring both young and old. O is for Olympic medals, the bronze, the silver, the gold. Government leaders make important decisions for people in their cities and states. P is for politics and politicians and political candidates. Used to cover a bed at night or to keep warm on a cold buggy ride. Q is for the beautiful quilts stitched together with love and pride. Black pharaohs in Egypt Ancient empires of gold, royal caravans to Timbuktu. R is for African roots and the glories that Africa once knew. Hard work, little food, hearts heavy with sorrow. Sold away from family and friends, S is for slavery, a sad part of our past the Civil War finally brought it to an end. T 
is for Tuskegee Airmen flying their planes through the clouds. These pilots were heroes in World War II and won many distinguished awards. Education, careers, achievement, and goals. A strong sense of heritage and pride. U is for universities and the opportunities that they provide. Cast your ballot in the box. Let your voice be heard. V is for the right to vote and make a difference in this world. Storytellers, historians, and poets writing words that are wonderful and wise. W is for writers and the winners of the Pulitzer Prize. A voice in the struggle for equality. A symbol of power and might. X is for Malcolm X, an activist for civil rights. Y is for York, a mountain man with the Lewis and Clark expedition. His brave explorations opened the way to new worlds for the next generation. Congregations gathering to sing a hymn. Church members joining hand in hand. Z is for Zion and churches of faith along the journey to the promised land. Thank you for visiting Grammy's Book Nook. To get more information for this book, check the description box below. Be sure to thumbs up this video. Click the subscribe button for the latest videos on Grammy's Book Nook.